Welcome back, everybody. We are back with Don't Starve, and it is our fifth day. Not to be weird and pessimistic about it, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all the audio and stuff from the first one. I don't remember much of it, but what I do remember, it was pretty crap. Like, I didn't really explain much, so... I may just, uh... may just scrap that. Okay, so what we're making... I don't even remember. I think, uh, crock pot. Yeah, we tried to make a crock pot. Okay. Let's go ahead and refine the stone. So, yeah, we're playing Don't Starve. Uh, Reign of Giants. I'm going to try to get back to base. We're going to see what's going on with that. Right now, other than a couple of, um, small additions, I don't see much different. So, I may just be fine. Just gotta find a little village. Some bees, but those are in the original one. So I really don't, I don't know what, what would be different at all, to be honest. I mean, there are the new trees and a couple of new things like that, and a little extra depth when it comes to making certain things and a for some reason a random pig man near my base a little worrying uh ah shit um uh where was it damn it damn it damn it damn it okay maybe I can the problem with WX here is the fact that he gets hurt whenever he um, is in range. Yeah, not quite as helpful. Uh, okay, so it's 116 right now. Still 116. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's that bad, to be honest. Um, like, the only thing I really see as being a problem is, you know, the fact that it may just make all my stuff super wet and soggy, which would suck. Because it can ruin food items and other stuff like that. But, on a lighter note, if he is struck by lightning, he actually goes into overdrive mode. I've actually seen that happen before. Uh, my girlfriend played as him for a little while. Got hit. It was quite interesting, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Going to go make that crock pot. We're going to get our food production going into a whole new world. Gotta find some beefalo too. How about here? Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Is there like a new structure or something I can build to help with that? No, doesn't look like it. Well, I guess if I get some more sticks and flower petals, I can make the uh, parasol. Luckily, pickling flowers is our, it's also very good for your sanity good. Especially when you start going nuts and you start seeing things. Yeah, see? Change this from a rabbit hole into a wet one because it's so full of water. Wet grass. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Bag of rice. 
Yeah, you do use a bag of rice. Um, I don't know, what could be. I don't have anything to. I don't have anything for that. I could chop down some trees. I should have been talking more, um, yeah, silly me. Sometimes I forget that I'm doing things like this, but oh hey, rain stopped, okay, so we're good. Oh, it's as long as I'm wet, man, that sucks. Okay, let's make a board. Let's go ahead and add fuel to the fire. See if I can't make something. Let's add two carrots, stale frog leg, and a wet birch nut. Okay, that can't go in there, so I guess this. And there are special recipes, of course, to uh, make better food, things like that. Oh good, I've already dried off. That's good. Everything can dry up now. Whew, my health and sanity are low. Luckily you can eat uh, flower petals and they'll help your sanity. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these and eat them as well. Cause it looks like I'm running out a lot faster than with uh, other characters. Oh, a froggle bun witch. That's interesting. Ah, big help, big help. Let's see. I'm gonna make some more stuff. I don't really know any of the uh, like ingredients and stuff that you need for certain recipes. I do know I do know a couple of them. So I mean. Not totally awful. Okay, so what's where are we going next? What's our next thing to do? Uh, don't need to make that yet. Maybe like uh, I don't even know. I need some more food stuff to put together, so I gotta find some beefalo. Collect some. Actually, I need that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to eat it instead of store it. And uh, let's take a look at the map. That place is pretty well done up. Uh, so I guess I'll go down here, right around there. We'll see what's down there. Let's grab some flowers while I'm going as well. Help my sanity. Maybe chop down a couple trees while I'm at it too. Get some more wood. I definitely need some. I really need to get better about that. I don't know. Ask anybody with some knowledge and they'll tell you that as soon as they start playing a video game with an audience, or at least an implied audience in this map, at least implied one, like now, um, Makes the game harder. Just because you're being stupid. Okay. So. Just keep running along here. See where we get to. Oh. More? That's weird. I'm usually not this lucky when I find stuff like this. Hmm. Quite a big rock biome. Traveling along the road, see if we can find some beefalo. Old. 
a grave. Okay, that's a little creepy, but you know, I don't expect it. I never know why there's gold sometimes in these, uh, like graveyards. It's very odd. I don't, I don't really know who decided to make that design choice, but you know, whatever. I guess whatever floats your boat when you're making the game. Grab some rocks while I'm out and about. Oh, hey! It's a sinkhole. When you find them, thankfully they're usually covered. Because uh, basilisks, these little bat-like things, usually come pouring out of them at night. Yeah. Gotta get these seeds in case I do find some beefalo. Oh, hey! Okay, so this is a wormhole, as you can see. Whenever you get close, it does that, and we're going to jump in. Now, the cool thing about a wormhole is the fact that it will just randomly transport you to other places like this. So, see? It's pretty good distance from everything. But, we're in a savannah biome, which means we may find some beefalo if we're lucky. And beefalo means poop. And with poop, you can make farms. Okay. Just going in circles now, but just sort of wanting to figure out the uh, like dimensions of this place. Hmm. Looks like it might be just a really big rabbit field instead of a beefalo spawning area. Oh yeah, in case you were wondering, you can't just walk off the edge. That's not like a balancing act you have to freak out about. Although I did read about a glitch that can happen, where if you place a certain structure or object, it'll push you into the water and uh, basically break your game. But, you know, them's the tips. Let's see, do I have enough for a bonfire? I did, okay. I at least got that. I can try to fully explore this uh, savanna, see if there's any beef below. This is where they normally spawn in like the normal game, so I'm not really sure if that's like a thing or if it's just how it's happened for me. I don't know. Whew, this is a big zone. your average sort of grasslands biome now. Oh hey, I got enough for the garland. Garlands, something to soothe the gnarly. Basically, it's something you wear and it'll help your sanity during the day. Okay, so uh, let's make sure I'm doing this right. Just want to make sure I map out this area so I know where everything is. Okay, I'm listening for the telltale signs of beefalo. Oh yeah, with ponds and stuff you can actually um, like fish if you have the items to make a fishing rod. Oh hey! Oh, it's cramp. That's weird. During the winter, they spawn a, um, a hunting party of walruses that uh, will attack you on sight. Uh, nasty guy. Not great. Probably wouldn't like him. Cook up some seeds and some carrots and see. 
I got plenty at home, so it's not such a big deal. Cracked a couple of these birch nuts since I gave them so much earlier. Hmm. That is a great way to do this. They provide quite a bit of hunger. Hmm. Oh. That's cool. Keep the fire going. Just gotta keep it up. Maybe make some traps while I'm thinking about it. Net, fishing rod, pretty parasol, umbrella, healing salve, compass, backpack, bottle. Uh, endoderm, endothermic fire. I still don't know what that's for, really. I haven't read up on anything. I'm not, I'm not gonna cheat like that. I don't really feel like there's a need to. Okay. I'm not really seeing anything new on the list, except for melon fashion. Just sounds like a really dumb hat. I don't know. So yeah, things are things are going okay. I don't like that it's being so difficult to find buffalo. That usually wouldn't bode well. Uh, because really, the way that I usually do self sufficiency comes with a healthy dose of lots of farms and lots of dried meat for like winter months because you can get winter and uh, what the hell is that oh oh it's just one of those burrows again okay oh he's up there it's a rock biome in the middle of this stuff that's weird Maybe just a big uh, savanna turf for rabbits. And I'm not hunting for rabbits. I'm hunting for beefalo. So I'm not sure what we're going to do if we can't find those. I guess I'll have to wing it and figure something out. Oh. Oh, a tall bird. These are the guys... Um, See those little nests with the eggs? Yeah, that's their babies. They don't like you. You get too close, they'll come. Yep. See? They're mad at me. They're mad at me. Okay. I got it far enough away. It's like, okay, this guy doesn't care. We'll be fine. Okay. So. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for a, um, I was hoping for some beefalo. I guess I have poop. I can't hear their snorting or the fly noise for the uh, poop, so I may have ended up a big bust. Ah, it happens sometimes. There's no really, there's not really ever any like hard, easy ways to find things. You just, so, dang it, there's a bunch of them. Well, actually, do I have a spear? I don't. Can I make one? Oh, I just need to make a, a, a rope. I can not make that because I don't have a science machine. Great. Let's get these guys out. I need some of these anyway. Kite these guys around. Oh, God, I got hit. Oh, God, I'm almost about to die. That would be annoying, dying this early without finding anything new. Oh, God, okay, these guys are really just taking the piss out of me. Oh god, okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, good. I got one to walk away. That's one less I have to deal with. Oh. 
Okay, no such luck with uh, with that, but maybe I can get the last one. And we can get some silk out of him. Because I need two for that pretty parasol, and you need them for other things as well. But uh, that's really the first thing. Hopefully they haven't respawned or anything. I can at least get two out of the spider den. Usually when you bust them up and they're this small, they'll usually give you at least two. Okay. Do I have enough to make another bonfire for tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> bonfire. I've been watching too much Dark Souls. Not really playing. I mean, I'm okay at it. It's just... You know how it is. It's not as hard as it's supposed to be. Whenever I play it, I don't know. People are always overhype it, I think. So, I have that problem. I don't know, playing it's really hard. Because I'm constantly underwhelmed by how hard people have told me it is and how much it isn't. It sounds dumb, but I don't know. I'm just a little disappointed in it, I guess. Let's get some extra wood for the fire. I got plenty of food, and I got plenty of everything, so this will all work out fine. Yeah. 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 I've been watching a lot of Dark Souls and uh, Demon Souls. Uh, Bitterbutt? Not sure if you've ever heard of him. A guy named Nick, Nick and his uh, girlfriend, Ein. And they did some playthroughs with one of my favorite YouTubers, actually, which is Plague of Gripes. And, um, a guy named Fraun, who calls himself German Spy. Let's see, do I have enough to make another one? Ah, I didn't make it. Crap, come on. Time is short. Okay. So, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get the face of these. Turn a little bit of my health. Oh cool, I got a spider gland too. Spider glands, whenever you use them, as you can see from the menu, have a heal option, and they will heal you for a very limited sum. And uh, let's see, let's uh, spice up some berries, get a little bit of fire. It's always how I like to spice up my food. I don't know, I'm an okay cook. Yeah, I'm an okay cook. I'd say a solid okay. Yeah, a solid okay. That's how I would describe my cooking. That may sound like a self-deprecating statement, but I don't think anybody is ever, like, perfect at cooking. It's, uh... more about getting better all the time. At least that's what I think. I don't know. I never really know what to do whenever I'm cooking, so I just sort of wave my arms and hope for the best. And for some reason it ends up a lot like Charlie Brown, if you ever watch any of those, where they wave their arms at the uh, Christmas tree and suddenly it's perfect. That's how my cooking usually goes. For some reason it just comes out perfect. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. Okay. I think I'm going to go take out that other spider colony today. And, uh, yeah. Because you want to get them early like this, unless you want to farm them. Let's see if I can draw him off. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ah yes, more silk. You see, whenever you tack them on the uh, 
like spidery ground here, the webby ground, it uh, calls all their brethren out. So if you can get them off, you can just deal with one of them. You just deal with them one at a time. And it's real simple. You can usually clean out a uh, a den like this with just the three spiders. Normally you won't have any more unless it's on the edge of um, like rolling over into the next stage and it'll get this tiny little um, like nodule at the top and that will uh, signal that it has um, like upgraded itself which I may do as well I'm not doing so great my health is low and uh, a special edition of WX here is uh, he can eat these gears upgrade himself and I think he has slightly more health than before which, that's helpful. A lumpy evergreen. That's weird. I'm gonna grab one. And see what happens with that. Hmm. That's weird. I assume there would be something special that would occur. Okay, I'm gonna say that finding beefalo has been total bust so far. That's real annoying. Because they are all that I need for my ultimate plan. And there's another walrus camp. So this place is gonna be this is not gonna want to be a place you want to stay. And uh come winter time. There are so many roads in this. I think that's I think that'll be one thing. Oh hey! A blow dart. Oh hey, another blow dart, and it looks like another another start of some more savanna. So, onward, onward and upward. Let's get ourselves some food. Okay, just really, really in gameplay to watch. I'm sure. You know, this would have been a perfect place to set up, right? If you. I may keep that like your mark because you can set up little like cave walls and stuff and make like your own little base. Uh, I did that in my one where I lived with you for like 60 days and uh, yeah, oh hey, another wormhole. Huh. Yeah, let's roll the dice. Uh, the only drawback with wormholes, jumping inside of them saps a little bit of your sanity. But since it's so early and I'm not really dying of anything. Oh. Well, that was simple. Huh. Okay. Um, guess I'll just pop back in again. Look around that savannah and see if I can find any beefalo. But now, hey, got a quick way back home. Oh, oh, this is important. This is a cobblestone road. Whenever you find cobblestone roads, that means only one thing is at either end of them. Shit. Um, normally it's just like a one-way road and you can find a big pig village on one side and the king of the pigs on the other. But, uh, oh hey! Okay, so this is an eye bone. And this little guy gets you a very special little guy. That's Chester. Chester. Okay, let's see where this side. Let's just keep walking, and we'll see where this ends up putting us at. Let's see if we can find like a pig village or something. Maybe the king of pigs, or nothing, or it lied to me. Ugh, God, why does this always happen? Just lie to me. So unhelpful. So unhelpful. Oh, got a pickaxe, though, and some stone. Oh. Ah, yes, I found them. Him, I guess. Oh. 
Yeah, if you get too close to them. They're neutral mobs normally, but uh, if you get too close, they tend to uh, go a little nuts on you. At night, they group up, and it's kind of cute. But I have found my poop machine. This is great news. What I need. Perfect. Plus, you can kill them, I guess, if you need food, but... It's not really good to kill them, unless it's like after a good breeding season, or if they're getting in your way. Nope. Calm down, dude. I'm just here for poop. Gotta get all the poop. Let's see. I got enough for that, which means I probably need quite a bit more if I want to start setting up advanced farms. Because basic farms are kind of slow when they're growing things. You use the uh, little random seeds that you can get from birds and stuff. You use that to make uh, farms. And uh, over time they grow sort of slowly. And um, normally you would use this to, you know, make crops. But a little slow in my opinion. So I usually go for uh, quite a few uh, like advanced farms. Okay, it's getting real close to night, so it's getting real close to night. So and then I will explain this little guy. Chester here is the best thing in this entire game. Chester is a mobile chest. As long as you have the eye bone on you, he will follow you wherever you go and he will hold all the crap, literally in this case, that you don't want to hold. Which can be very helpful in situations where you are overloaded, like I am. I hear spiders. Creepily legs are going. Hmm. Yep, there's their telltale little thing. Just gotta keep them away and we'll be fine. Eat some seeds. Fill up my stomach a little bit. Yeah, let's just fill it before we go, and then I will be all fueled up to run home. So I'm gonna grab some seeds and some grass while I'm here, even though I really don't need grass. Got plenty of grass at home. Uh oh, I hear a noise. Not a good noise. Oh crap, they're coming. After seven days of being alive, you're usually attacked by hounds. They're these little evil dog-like monsters that come after you. You can usually hear them and your character will also comment on them. You just have to listen, because once, ah, there we go. Once they start getting kicked up real good with their haunches, they'll start attacking you. You don't want that. Gotta get back home and gotta get a... Gotta get back home and I gotta make a spear. Let's see. Where is my home? Okay, it's over there. So it's pretty much just run in this direction and I'll get home. Hopefully I'll have enough materials to make a spear. Oh yeah, yeah. You're probably like, hey, how do they follow you through a wormhole? I don't know. They do. It's terrifying. And it's not great. But you need a spear if you're going to fight them. Here's 
go rumbling and grumbling. Let's see, I think there was a pig person down here, right? If memory serves, that's going to be a helpful person to have around because they'll fight hostile mobs like the hounds for you. With you. Also for you. But the, uh, the smallest amount is usually just like two. Okay, good. I found him. So just stay around him and he'll help me fight. Yes, I know WX. Something is coming. Here they are. Ah, shit, they're both attacking me. This is not good. This is the worst case scenario. Everyone's hostile to me. Like, this isn't the best way to do it. You know, it's a little scumbaggy to uh, just get him to kill it for you. But, uh, best way I can think of. I sure as heck don't want to fight him. They are terrifying. Luckily, he forgot about it, so I guess all is forgiven. Mm. Let's just burn down these trees right here. Hopefully it won't spread too big and I can just keep it kind of small. I want some more so that I can... Oh, oh god. Forest fire. This is not good. And shiitake mushrooms, this is bad. Hope it didn't get too far. Okay. That'll be enough for another... You know, there's a small little thing. I don't know if you just noticed it. But, um... But, that burning tree dropped a pine cone, which I really enjoy as someone who does, um, knows a lot about biology and stuff. It's very true to life because, you know, that's how, that's how they reproduce. The uh, pine cones will actually open up and it helps them to propagate the species more. So, you know, from a biological standpoint, that's very true to life and I really enjoy it. Okay, so we're back home. I got poop. Let's make some farms. Let's make some farms. Let's make some farms. Improved farm number one. Oh yeah. And now that I have all of that, now all I need are the ingredients and I can put it all together myself. Which I actually don't have enough to make anymore. Eh, it happens sometimes. Let's store the poop back in there. Grab the silk. Plant a seed if I have any. Yeah. Okay. Got some got some stuff going. So let's cook the jerky. Now normally you don't want to put monster meat by itself as the only meat in a recipe. You want to put it with something else to cut it. Because otherwise you're going to end up with a monster based um, food. Which is not good. Monster-based food hurts your 
a health point when you do that. Oh, what what's happening? Oh, shit, what is that? Oh, God. Oh, God, what's happening? Where pig? Where pig? This doesn't even make any sense. Or is it a werehog? Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Oh, God, this is so terrifying. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. This is not good. I wonder if that counts towards my naughtiness point. Yeah, it's like this weird invisible metric in the game called naughtiness. And um, if you get too much naughtiness, a special mob will actually appear and uh, try to steal all your stuff. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay. Well, I got some more meat, I guess. I mean, it's not the best. I really didn't want to do that. Let's see if I can make that, um... Where was it at? Let's see if I can make that, uh... No, not there. Um... Yeah, umbrella. Make the umbrella so that next time it rains, I won't have that much of a problem. Okay, so things are looking up. Uh, maybe make some, yeah, let's make some traps. You can make traps and put them near the rabbit holes, which is why I usually camp out near them, and you can get little morsels of food that way. It's a very good system to work by. And I'll just set one up here. And I will set one up on this one since he's going to be here. Okay. So just let me check my progress with what I usually do. Okay. So we're going to call it there um, right here at day 10. So everything is going fantastically. Stuff is going better than expected. We fought a werehog. I guess. I don't know how that happened. Brain of Giants, I guess. So, I'm going to bid you all adieu. And next episode, we're going to see how far this idiot gets at not starving. <laughs>